Hi everyone and welcome back to Shiko Hope TV USA. My name is Shiko Hope and this is your home of hope where we say in We thank God for the fire has brought us and we say he is Ebenezer. Yes. So today, as usual, video kama kawaida. Yes, guys, and don't judge my shirt. I used to wear this when I was big. It's an imekonda. But sina do ya kweda kununua gozingine doko. Anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, sifa hizi dio ni none tena anyway, okay? But uh, video ya leo, as the title suggests below, is about why many people don't like hosting or why many people in the US are not in interested in hosting people in their homes, okay? So let's do this video as we take a trip to the grocery store. So if you didn't, if you haven't watched our previous video, please do because this is a continuation of the last video that we posted uh, la that we posted last time. So please go watch that video and then come watch this because you will now connect on what we are going to discuss now. Okay? Yes. So uh, we said in in the other video that you need a host in the USA. It doesn't matter whether you are million dollar rich. But even if you don't have any money, you need a, a host in the U.S. And also, even if you you have a lot of money, you need a host in the U.S.A. Okay? Yes. So, let's assume or let's say that your host is your relative or a friend of a friend or maybe someone you are connected to by someone. Okay? Yes. So, if, if you are being hosted... In the USA now we are talking about now you have arrived in the USA your host has picked you up from the airport and it is time now for you to start life in the USA okay yes my Kenya is what to Lizugumza last time now the host takes you to the hall to the your home and the first day you are just wow you are just wow you are not like getting anything um, also, if you have not been watching Chico Hope's video when I am telling you this is how we do this, this is how we do this. But if you have been watching Chico Hope's video, now you will not be like shocked. Many things you know because through our videos on YouTube, you have now familiarized yourself with how life is. Although now it is practical. Now you have to do it practically. <laughs> okay. Now, so when your host takes you to the, your home, uh, the first day... You are like you are you are mgeni siku ya kwanza, <laughs> and as you always know that uh, being a guest in in um, in someone's home, the more you stay, the more you become you are becoming like the mwenyeji of the place. Okay, so and because you are here with a green card, you are here with DV diversity visa, you are about. To start your life on a very flat on, on on a very high speed because you have the documents needed to start working and that uh, that is social security number social security number will come maybe a week later or maybe two weeks later after arriving in the USA okay now when the social security arrives now you are able to do job of applications because now you have what it takes to get employed let's assume your host is a truck driver the husband or the wife is a truck driver let's assume the host is also a student or maybe his job is among the essential uh, careers that they have to attend work so most of the time they come from job when they are very tired maybe if they attract drivers they don't come home daily they will come home maybe every weekend or once a week because that's what they do for a living and because you are there it doesn't mean that they will stop doing that no you didn't come to stop their lives, to stop them from living, no. They will still continue living as usual because they have bills to pay. They have bills to pay. So, as you arrive, now you have to thank God, you have a shelter or a roof over your hand. 
over your head. So, let's assume now it's a one week past, past since you arrived and it is time now to start application for your job because you have the social security card. They will be generous, maybe sending you links on how to go about job applications. It is not your responsibility to wait for them to come and show you how to go about the job application. It is your responsibility to click on those links and start doing job applications. For example, when you come to, uh, to Fins, because for me, I, I offer hosting and accommodation services at Fins. When you come to Fins, the first thing, the first thing, and many people are not aware of this, they have been hosting people in the US, but they have been taking too long and keeping their guests at their homes because they don't know how to go about this. Maybe when you come to Fins, if you arrive early enough, we will pass by the, the, the mobile phone, or, or the mobile center where you, you, you can get an American line plus one line. If it was late, maybe you, are, you, maybe you arrived past five, past six. Now you will be tomorrow, the following day, I will come pick you up and take you to the shop where we're going to get the plus one number. That is very the, the very first thing I, I, I do even before you have taken a shower in the US the first thing is to have a plus one number why because you will not be applying jobs using your country's phone number okay and if you are someone who is like uh, very fast in doing things you can be checking for the jobs online and seeing what they require to get employed in those companies and after five days when the social security comes you can now go ahead and start job application but when you come to things we don't wait for five days uh oh no oh we don't wait for five days what we do we take you and if we are not available to take you because we don't offer we don't offer transportation to the social security office or to any of your errands. When you come to Fins, you are very independent. Okay? And if you don't know how, much, how we offer our services, please watch our videos on what we offer and what we don't offer. So when you come to Fins, one thing, you are independent from day one in terms of food, in terms of transportation. We might not be there every day to take you to your errands. So come with money for Uber. Or if you have an international driver, driving license you can get you can car hire okay and you can drive using your international driving license okay so once you come to fins we get you the plus one number two or three days later we tell you you know what this is the address to the social security office please go and let them know you need the social security number you don't need the card it is not processed yet but you have a number already assigned to you so go to that office and let them know you need the number they will give you the number so that you can start applying for the job okay and once you have that and you have a plus one number and you have a smartphone and at Fins we have internet okay so you are good to start job application when you are three or four days old in the USA in the USA okay yes so when you come to us we mean business there is no time to keep you there we don't have kids at Fins that we are that we are going to leave you with the baby so that we go to work no actually you'll be so bored when all the other uh, residents are going to work and you are left home so it is up to you if we are in Mtuwa Kujituma that will be the best thing for you to do because uh, there is nobody there to push you it is you to push yourself it is you to push yourself Shiko is not there every day to come to come check on you like how, how, how what was your day uh -uh. how was your day what is the going Shiko is not there all the time 
and if i am there i'm not like able to come daily i will be i will be just asking you umeshidaje how was your day blah 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 do this do that do this do that okay so at fins come to fins when we went to akujituma if you are not a kujituma person if you are a lazy person you will suffer you will suffer if you come to fins just know that you have to do things yourself the host is not available every time to come teach you how to do things every day things here are do it yourself jitume jitume okay kama wewe umekoma you have to kukuamuka when you come to fins now away from fins maybe you are at the at your relatives place maybe at your friends place Yeah, the same thing should apply. Okay? Yeah, don't give a bad a bad end to your host like she or he has to do everything for you. No. No one has that time. No one has that time. And if you depend on them to do everything for you, you will see like they have neglected you. They are not giving you the attention you need. Which is not right. Which is not right because these people have been living even before you came there is no way they have to stop living because you are there to attend to your needs no you have to jituma you have to jituma sometimes even your host comes home when they are so sleepy and then you are there waiting for them to take you to the grocery store or maybe to job of uh, appointments or maybe to get a plus one number and then they arrive home and you are there waiting and they are like oh mimi i'm so tired i just want to sleep and you are ready to go to that shop to get that one plus one number so you feel like they are not giving you the attention you need you will feel like they are not attending to your needs Th that is your expectation you expect them to meet your expectations but on the other hand they are very tired actually your needs are not their priority let me tell you the need, your needs uh, is not their priority because there is no way they can drive you when they are sleepy they can drive you to your era when they are tired and fatigued they just want to sleep let me tell you what when you wanna fanya kazi huko most of the time they come home when they are wameisha kabisa eh and when you feel like and you know what when you come to when we come to the US most of the things like kujifinyilia so that you can be um kujifinyilia dio maana dio ufulaisha mwingine vitu zingine like those ones tuliacha i have to tell you the truth i'm sleepy let me just take two hours two hours nap and then you feel like oh guy huko ni wapi these people are not maybe taking care that is your relative not fins because at fins you have to do it yourself we said you the address this is the address if you wanna take uber just take uber that uh that will take you to the to the address where you are going and when you arrive You, you do your business then you take uber back home okay back to the fins residence and that is it that is it initially when we started hosting at fins we were offering transportation but you know what people are coming so many someone want to go at 10 another one at 12 another one at 1 so nobody is there available to take them to those rides and then we are also busy with our that with our with our jobs okay so you have to kujipanga you know the way you go for for vacation or maybe you take an airbnb you are responsible for your transportation the same thing here when you come to fins you are also responsible for your own things and let me tell you since we started uh, since we stopped offering transportation to our residents actually things have been f uh, flowing so smoothly things have been flowing so smoothly because someone comes when they already know what is it, what is expect, expected of themselves what to do for themselves and what not to because we guide you at first we guide you on how to go about doing things okay but if you have a question we are available to answer your question because we can answer it wherever we are for example for me i work from monday to uh, from monday to friday 5 uh not 5 7 to 5:30 or 6 p.m. so there is no way you can be having an appointment at 2 and you expect me to come take you to your appointment i'm not available okay yes so maybe that is the same uh, situation with your host they are not available when you have those appointments would you be someone who is like taking charge changamka 
Usilalie. Usilalie maskio. Usilalie maskio, okay? Usilalie maskio because if you lalia maskio, you will suffer. If you'll be waiting for your host uh, to go to work until he gets a day off, oh oh, you will suffer. You will suffer. Oh. Yeah, you have to. You will stay even for like two years without making a single step because you are depending on your host to do everything for you, which is not possible. Which is not possible. So, when you come to the US, it doesn't matter who your host is, just take charge of your life take charge and show that you are show that you are a person who is in charge of the, your life okay just the way you move from your Ushago to Nairobi or to your capital city of your country and when you go there you start setting yourself to job applications to looking for employment or getting any other opportunity the same thing here so your host is not like uh don't become a burden don't become a burden to your host be a good guest someone who is jitumaying and you are, you are going to live happily happily with your host and even for a very short time because you will get yourself you get yourself into uh into a stable situation very soon if you are not depending on anyone for to do things for you okay yes and if you if you're such person if you're such a person who is like depending on the your host for everything you will suffer and you are going to blame you are going to blame your host for your misfortunes or maybe for their for wasting you many people do that you you start uh blaming your host they did not do this they did not do that they were like uh using you babysitting for their kids babysitting their kids when they are at work a b c d but you know what if you show them that you can g to ma they will not take advantage of you actually they are not even taking advantage of you you are there you are available to do that <laughs> but if you show them like you are not available they should also continue with their life the way they sh they were doing with their babies. What they were doing before with their babies, they should continue doing it. They should not stop taking their babies to daycare because you came. They should not taking your their kids to the sh show who takes care of the kids because you came and you are not charging them. No, the life the life should continue as usual. They sh they should not stop because you came, and the same thing. Uh, with your kids they should not make you a babysitter because you are available but if you are available they will they will they will even if you are a man we have seen many men being babysitters here and now even when the documents come your host is not ready to give you the documents because they see once we give you the documents you are going to to start working and who will take care of our babies <laughs> so but if you show them that you went for the social, to the social security office you get you got the social security number you are now ready to start applying for jobs now that shows them that you ever see kadogo we see mchache you know what you are doing because with that you can apply for jobs but then come with some money because without some money and if, even if you went to akujituma na huna do you have to maybe wait for them to come take you to those errands and maybe they are not available so that is another factor. Be as a, a person who works hard, who works smart, and also come here with some money for Uber or maybe for car hire. Okay? Yeah, because it, it a car hire in Kenya, but here is car rent. You, you can rent a car here. Okay? But it is up to you now to decide your life and how to go about starting. If you don't want to stagnate, if you don't want to stagnate, you want to keep moving do be someone be someone like i applaud many people who come here and they are like watu kujituma 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 because others are taken advantage of by the yahoos but but it is not the host's fault it is the, the themselves fault mm? 
you should let your host know that you know how things are even if you are a new person you know that you can get a plus one number even when you are one day old even one hour old you can land in the airport and there and then get a plus one number many people are, many, many people don't know that they think that you have to wait for your green card to get a plus one number no that you can wait for your social security to wait to get a plus one number no you can get it immediately you have landed in the u.s and with a plus one number and uh, a, pla a social security number you are now good to start applying for jobs even I have seen people, we have hosted someone at Finns and within a week they were working. A week. A week they were already working. So you can imagine they were fighting jet lag as they were applying for jobs. And once the jet lag was over, Kazi Kanza. So it is possible. And we have also hosted someone who took like a month before they started working. It depends with your. If you are a go-getter, if you are lazy, if you are like mtu wakusukumwa, it takes time. If it takes time, because you'll have to wait, you'll have to wait for me to, to, to come wait, take you for, the, for those job applications. Or come do the application for you. Maybe I'm not available. Maybe I'm available on the weekend. And you, have, and you arrived on this weekend. So you have to wait for the whole week for me to be available. And it will be for some few, few hours. Not even hours, maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes. And that is it. The same thing with your host, wherever you will be hosted. Just be someone who is like a go-getter. Don't depend too much on your host. Let Give your host the space to enjoy their life because you found them living. Okay? You found them living. They can sacrifice here and there, but not all the time. And that is why you've, you find many people are not willing to host because hosting is so expensive. In terms of time, not in terms of money, no, in terms of time, very, very expensive. Because the time that I was using to spread with my kids is the time that maybe I'm, I'm sacrificing to come and be with you, okay? So very expensive. And you know what? Whatever maybe I am giving you as a host, maybe you are the host is your family member, your relative. And maybe whatever they give you, you are not, you are not grateful, you, you need more. Or you see like it is not enough. Huh? And they are trying their best to help you and keep you going. But then you are not grateful. You are not recognizing or acknowledging their effort. And then they are like, this person is not grateful. Uh, the best thing is for them to, to get out of my place. Because it seems like we are not moving on the same direction. So, sometimes it is good to be understanding. Be a good understanding host. And being a good and understanding guest, it is very, very, very important. And I'm here and I'm, I am doing this video for you guys who are coming. It, maybe you'll not come this year, maybe you'll not come next year, but just watch this video and know that what is expected of you, okay? You can't come and stay at my place. Maybe you are a relative and then the stories you are giving me is stories of our great grandparents, how we used to do ABCD. Uh uh, you should focus and work on yourself. Vitu za naitino zinatusaidia nini? Because someone when when they comes from your village and they are your relatives, you start like you want now to start giving stories about your other family members. No one has that has time for that. Nobody. Here we are busy. You two should be busy. Start being busy. Applying for jobs. Start reading for that driver driver's book driver's handbook get into action but not every time you are doing tiktok and facebook and whatsapp call calling people back home giving report on how your host place is looking no don't do that actually don't don't if at all you have to communicate to people back home about your host please don't tell others about your host family they are home agashiko sijui ni mchafu how shall give your boss in alala kwa sinik sikutano uh uh that's none of your business actually they have done you a good a great favor putting you under their roof hmm? giving you a roof over your head and then you are there talking bad about them don't talk bad about your host never never and i'm saying never talk bad about your host because you too very soon you'll be you'll be a host 
yeah it is right now that you want to be hosted but very soon you'll become a host and the same thing can be done to you and you'll not be happy so never talk ill of about your host even if they fight every day even if they fight wanangwana meno don't don't gossip your about your host don't even if they do what even if they what can i say never gossip about your host okay and then in the other video i told you guys i don't host in my home i host at finn's residence and another person was writing down there why she called don't you host people in your house i don't i have been hosting people in my house since i came here till 2022 okay and the reason why i stopped hosting people in 2022 the last person i hosted she was a lady and she went there talking bad about Shiko Hope. Yes. She, I have never hosted anybody else who was talking bad about me. I have hosted many people. But this last person went there, out there. Actually, I was not their relative. I was just a, a stranger because we are not related at all. But after some time, I think she lived in my house, I think, for two months. After that, she went out there talking bad about Shiko Hope. Shiko Hope is married to a Mzungu. Shiko Hope, a guy is doing this. Shiko Hope is doing that. Shiko Hope doesn't buy food in the house. We sleep hungry. Shiko Hope is a Kamuhani Fulani na Kamuzungu Fulani uko. Shiko Hope, Shiko Hope, Shiko Hope. Yes. Many people are giving me those moshene because those are gossips. That like so and so are selling me this. So and so are selling me this. So and so are selling me this. And I was like, oh, so I brought her to my house and then this is what he she's doing out there. All right. That is the end of me hosting people in my house. That is the end. That is the end. Okay? Yeah, sometimes you you feel like it is over. It is, I'm done. I am done. So, since 2022 I decided I'll not be hosting people in my house. That was the last person I hosted and that she came in October and she left in December, early December. And that was the end. I will never host another person in my house. Come to Fins. We host at Fins and we charge for our services. For more information, visit our website www.finsimmigrationservices.com. Our phone number, Nairobi office, uh, plus 254-115-411. 314 okay we have an office in nairobi if you google on google search fins abroad services we are in nairobi it will direct you to where our offices are okay yes and as i said i stopped hosting people in my house since 2022 i am not alone many people have like said she called me meet pia i don't host people in my house if i get a relative who, who will come I will pay for I, I will pay fins for them for those months and then they move from fins to their own apartment. So many people are like many people in the US, many hosts in the US are like, Shiko, I will pay you for my brother or my sister who is coming. I will pay you for fins so that they live there and to Heshimiane. To Heshimiane respect is a paramount. Respect is paramount, okay? Yeah, me too. That is what I decided since 2022. Respect is paramount. Yeah, that person also was like, Kunishtua, Kunitishia, I will damage your brand. Nita kuharibia brand since 2022. So, you brand hili haribika, guys. In the comment section, please comment. Kama brand hili haribika. Ama ilikuwa, ama diyo imekuwa poa. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I have, um, I hope I have maybe inspired you or maybe given you one or two tips yes thank you so much god bless you see you in my next videos bye